All right, what's up guys? Um, today I'm gonna to talk about press, re press releases for SEO. Um, I've talked about this in the past, but I wanna do it again because in the context of SEO plus, I'm gonna do it on Fiverr. I'm gonna give you a couple gigs that I like. And I only did this because the recent post on advice, they talk about it and yeah, I just want to redo it because it's been a while. I think the last time I talked about it was episode 86. So nearly seven months ago. And I still believe it's a great um, plan and a great uh, strategy. So yeah, let's talk about it. But I'm going to be eating creatine plus reporting my numbers from the day before. Can't handle it. Please look away. All right. So finally got approval for renovation. Took a while, but we got there. Um, yeah, not much to say besides that. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Um, yesterday we did three K, three thousand and sixty-seven in total revenue, up four hundred dollars from the day before. Amazon at nearly two grand. We are so back. I can't talk about it. All right, but I talked about it in the advice community. We're back, baby. i um, not gonna talk about exactly what happened here, but um, I talked about it in the secret HVAC channel. So if you guys are watching in the advice community, go take a look what happened. Um, Mediavine 320, also high. And the adult revenue source that I can't talk about, I'm sorry. Um, 762 pretty good days a couple things ramping up fingers crossed i'm gonna shut up about things until the end of the year because just the final hurrah guys before you know i can't do full retirement but i'll take a step back you know i'll take a step back <clears throat> in terms of like maybe i'll stop doing these episodes every day i don't know we'll see <coughs> anyways let's talk about today's episode um, today's one of those where you'd want to sign up for the first link in the description. Plus, check the comment section, guys. Interact with your fellow grinders, all right? Grinder sounds like the dating app, but uh, no. Um, anyways, let's talk. All right, so first link in the description. You guys sent this sheet. And then today is episode 266 titled, I Paid Fiverr for Press Release Services. It's great. Um, qu quotations for SEO. <clears throat> um, and I did a quick search because one of the people in the advice community is like, yo, I paid, I don't know, like 300 bucks for this press release. It's such a great deal. It's like a dollar per press release or per outlet. And I was thinking, I was like, that's kind of expensive, man. So I went to look on Fiverr and lo and behold, I found a ton of cheap options. Plus we brainstormed in the advice community, a bunch of stuff that we liked. Let's take a look together. Um, I'm just going to open all of these. So the links are here, by the way. Um, anyways, let's first, first and foremost, cause a lot of these guys offer different things. So we have to try to compare apples to apples and not apples to oranges. Google news, 150 sites, Google news and digital journal for the premium. You get 300 outlets for 60 bucks, 57. It's on sale right now. Um, but that's fine. Anyways. So that's the first one. Next up. What else do we have? We have 450 premium outlets. 75 bucks it's not bad and then this is what the press release looks like they all look about the same i'm gonna be real right now i'm gonna be real um so obviously what you do is you'd just copy copy and paste all this into the telegram indexer and then get that indexed all right pretty easy so this is 25 dollars for 500 websites i don't know what it looks like but I think it's worth testing. I might test this for you guys. Um, I ordered off the first guy and there's also King Newswire, which I believe was 
Yeah, see, seventy dollars for one press release. That's not on Fiverr, you know. Let's take a look at their sample. It's fine, I guess. Looks pretty good. All right, so one thing to notice. I, I, I want to call out something. Media contact. This is a citation. This is a citation. What you need is name, address, and phone number. They have it all. In theory, as mentioned before, I talked about this in the past, but in theory, this is good for local SEO. All right? So get it done. Remember in your media contact to have name, address, phone number, and it's a citation. It's good for local. Get that shit indexed. Bada bing, bada boom. You're done. All right? Um, what else can I say? I think this is self... Ex uh, I think press releases are good. They're good buffer links. They're good links to get like naked anchors, link diversity, all that good stuff. Bear, dirt cheap. There's reports of people just ranking with press releases, like $5 press releases. Good. Um, you could probably rank it with uh, rank and rents, right? So try it out. It's up there with local citations in terms of pricing, but uh, people still do press releases. So um, give it a try. And yeah, let me answer some questions from yesterday's video. Alrighty, so yesterday's video flopped. Um, didn't expect it to flop, but it flopped. Lost a subscriber. It's fine. We take those. And yeah, let's, let's just answer some questions. John says, advises the most active ch chat community that I've been a member of in this space. High quality stuff. Amazing. Thank you for the great SEO community. Time to learn for the next year inside advice. Let's go. SEO community. Great community. I love making businesses out of bureaucracy precisely because people hate dealing with it. Most active SEO community. Let's go. What's been the key to such great engagement in your community, especially when you're starting out? Well, do cool stuff. And obviously you have to engage. I like to post case studies in there because it triggers a lot of discussion. And I like to talk about gigs I've tested. Is there a certain size of following email list you would recommend before starting a community? Uh, yes. I don't know if I can start, okay. I don't know if I can start a community with like 5K followers on Twitter. Like 5K total. If I, I don't know if I can just run it on the back of just Twitter. Yeah, to start advise over again, is there anything you would have done differently? Probably f get Sean in right away. Um, helps a lot. Have someone else. Copy Samurai, thank you. A few highlights. Thanks for the highlights. I'm not going to read that. Advice. If you had to choose, which one would you put 100% of, of your effor efforts in? Pure SEO consulting? Not that one, whatever that is. Pure SEO operative or pure SEO community? Definitely SEO operative. Money's way better there. What? Okay, let me, let me keep it a buck with you guys, all right? Anyone doing pure SEO consulting and they don't have their own businesses? Red flag. Only SEO community, no SEO business? Also red flag. <clears throat> There's a ton of people doing SEO community plus consulting as like a funnel. Also red flag. Because I don't know. I, I think people should have their own business. And if you want to be in the SEO space, you should be walking the walk. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe... Walking the walk could be consulting too because you're doing SEO for other people. But then it's like, why do SEO for, why grow other people's businesses when you can grow your own? If you're really that good. If you are, okay, let's say if you can, if you're as good as you make yourself sound on Twitter and you can rank for anything in the world, why the hell would you do consulting? Why the hell would you start an SEO community? My SEO community, as mentioned yesterday, is the funnel into more SEO operations. That's why. Like, don't get it twisted. There's no other reason. Like, I respect you guys enough to tell you the truth that I'm in it for the money. 
I started this community to scratch an itch that, you know, when I first started in SEO, I had a community of like 10 people. It was sick. But it's part of my funnel. Like, I get people in a community and I work with people in the community and we all make a ton of money. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. All right. Um, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Like I'm trying to save SEO. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Think one off's better. Advice, advice wasn't for me. How to cancel. Fair enough. You know, it's, we get 10% churn every month and that just means we can charge 10% 10% churn means the average person stays 10 months. All right. So if we charge one off of 10 times monthly, that's just how it is. All right. I see your community. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And that's all the time we have for today. How much time have I? Yeah, that's all the time. Take it easy, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. It's Thursday, Friday tomorrow. But you know what? Weekend Warriors tomorrow is just another day. See you guys tomorrow.